Welcome to Taipei. Taipei is a Chinese special municipality and seat of government of Taiwan, the Republic of China. It is situated on the Tan Shui River, almost at the northern tip of the island of Taiwan, about 15 miles southwest of Qilong, which is its port on the Pacific Ocean. Taipei is completely surrounded by New Taipei City. Taipei maintains an extensive system of parks, green spaces, and nature preserves. One of the most popular nearby recreation areas is Mount Yangming, which is only six miles north of the central city. Now, let's get into the Taipei 101, formerly known as the Taipei World Financial Center. It is a skyscraper. This building was officially classified as the world's tallest from its opening in 2004 until 2009. Upon completion, it became the world's first skyscraper to exceed a height of a half of a kilometer. Taipei 101's postmodernist architectural style evokes traditional Asian aesthetics in a modern structure employing industrial materials. Its design incorporates a number of features that enable the structure to withstand the Pacific Ring of Fire's earthquakes and the region's tropical storms. The tower houses offices, restaurants, and indoor and outdoor observatories. The tower is adjoined by a multi-level shopping mall that has the world's largest Ruiz symbol as an exterior feature. Taipei 101 is the site of many special events. Art exhibits regularly take place in the observatory. Overall, Taipei 101 was the tallest building in the world for six years, being surpassed by the Buri Khalifa in 2010. For 12 years, it also had the fastest elevator at 38 miles per hour. It also has the largest wind damper in the world at 18 feet across. Taipei 101 is currently the 11th tallest building in the world, according to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitats official rankings. Please go feast your eyes upon this wondrous place. Okay, is anyone hungry? Well, if you are, you must check out the Shinlin Night Market. It is a night market in Shinlin District, Taipei, Taiwan, and is often considered to be the largest and most famous night market in Taiwan. The night market encompasses two distinct sections sharing symbiotic relationship. A section formerly housed in the old Shinlin Market building, containing mostly food vendors and small restaurants, and the surrounding businesses and shops selling other non-food items. The food court holds 539 stalls, and the second floor serves as a parking lot for 400 cars. In addition to the food court, side streets and alleys are lined with storefronts and roadside stands. Cinemas, video arcades, and karaoke bars are also prevalent in the area. Like most night markets in Taiwan, the local businesses and vendors begin opening around 4 p.m. Some notable foods that can be found at this market are grilled prawns, stinky tofu, oyster omelet, ayu jelly, and many, many more. If you are in the mood for some great food and shopping, the Shinlin is the place to be. Now, there is nothing like a good old historical adventure. That's what you'll find at the National Palace Museum. It is a museum in Taipei, Republic of China, established in 1925 in Beijing. It has a permanent collection of nearly 700,000 pieces of Chinese artifacts and artworks, many of which were moved from the Palace Museum as well as five other institutions throughout mainland China during the ROC retreat making it one of the largest of its type in the world. The museum's collection encompasses items spanning 8,000 years of Chinese history from the Neolithic age to the modern period. Most of the collection are high quality pieces collected by Chinese emperors. The museum comprises two branches, the Northern and Southern branches. The Northern branch is the main building in Taipei. Permanent exhibitions of painting and calligraphy are rotated once every three months. Approximately 3,000 pieces of the museum's collection can be viewed at any given time. There is also a lake and Asian-style garden on the grounds. The museum itself, 9,000 square meters in total, was designed by the Taiwan-based firm Artec Incorporated and is both earthquake and flood resistant. Finally, 
we have the National Xi'an Kai-shek Memorial Hall, which is a national monument, landmark, and tourist attraction erected in memory of General Isumo Chiang Kai-shek, former president of the Republic of China. It is located in Taipei. The monument, surrounded by a park, stands at the east end of Memorial Hall Square. It is flanked on the north and south by the National Theater and National Concert Hall. The Memorial Hall is white with four sides. The roof is blue and octagonal, a shape that picks up the symbolism of the number eight, a number traditionally associated in China with abundance and good fortune. Two sets of white stairs, each with 89 steps to represent Qiang's age at the time of his death, lead to the main entrance. The ground level of the memorial houses a library and a museum documenting Chiang's Kaishek's life and career, with exhibits detailing Taiwan's history and development. The upper level contains the main hall, in which a large statue of Chiang Kaishek is located, and where a guard mounting ceremony takes place at regular intervals. This hall is a staple in Taipei's history, so make sure you check it out. And there you have it, a few of the most popular tourist attractions in Taipei City. For exclusive highlights of more cities you've dreamed of traveling to, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss when we upload new videos each week. Chat soon!